Hi Intune friends, in this video we're going to speak about IE mode and how to configure that. If you're thinking IE mode, I have no idea what that is, don't worry, we're going to explain that in this video. But first I want to start with the quiz again. So we're going to go back 21 years to the year of 2002 and which browser, web browser, was the most used at that time? One, two, three, post the video if you need more time. Here comes comes the answer. Internet Explorer. Microsoft Internet Explorer was the most used browser at that time. To be specific, it was version 6. Why is that important? Well, at that time, everyone built their web pages and internet to work for Internet Explorer. So that's why it's still some old system, mostly internet and some older application that still require Internet Explorer to work. So that's why this is valid. And trust me, they are still out there. They're getting less and less and no new are built, of course. So one of the main purpose of this video and video series is how to run Oracle Java in the browser. So let's go through this browser, which one can run Oracle Java in the browser. So to run Oracle Java in the browser, you need to support one of two old technologies. One is called NPAP and the other is called ActiveX. Let's start with NPAP. It stands for Netscape Plugin Application Programming Interface. So Netscape is a very old browser that was popular during the 90s, but after it died, they actually gave their code to Mozilla Firefox. So that's why Mozilla Firefox is supporting NPAP. So in Mozilla Firefox, you could load Oracle Java. I say you could because in version 53 or around there, they dropped the support for NPAP because it crashed the browser and make it slower. You could make it work in the 53 on Mozilla Firefox with some hacks, but after a while they dropped it totally. And today Mozilla Firefox are on version over 100, so you can't really run Oracle Java in Firefox unless you run a very, very old unsecure browser. So Mozilla Firefox, not an option. What about Google Chrome? Google Chrome also support NPAP, but they dropped it in version 44 and later. So um, same there. Google Chrome is not an option unless you install a very unsecure version, which you should definitely not do. So that leaves us to Internet Explorer that we spoke about. Can Internet Explorer run Oracle Java and PAP? No, it can't because it supports ActiveX. Can ActiveX run with Internet Explorer? Yes. And that's the whole part of this uh, video. And what about Edge then? Does it run NPAP or ActiveX? It actually supports none of it, and never done. So the only way to run Oracle Java in the browser is to use the Internet Explorer. Okay, fine, let's do that. Wait a minute. In Windows 11, they more or less removed the Internet Explorer 11. You can't start it. So that means on Windows 11, if I have Windows 11 and I want to run Oracle Java, what do I do? Well, you run or you run Edge in IE mode, so it actually load Internet Explorer in IE for certain URLs. So let's uh, look quickly at that. I'm going to one of my virtual machines. So if I go here and try to go uh, start Internet Explorer, well, I can't. There is no Internet Explorer. But if we look a bit under the hood and go to uh, Program files, program files. There is an Internet Explorer here, a limited one. So if I click on Internet Explorer, will that start Internet Explorer? No, it will start Edge, in Edge mode. So uh, there is no way to start Internet Explorer. Can I run the page as um, Internet Explorer? Yes, in IE mode. So I'm gonna show how to do it manually first and then we're going to do with policies and the configuration profiles in um, Intune to automate this. But if we want to do manually, let's say you have a user who just, hey, this page must run in Internet Explorer, then you can do like this. So let's say that we have this uh, Java test page, which we're going to go back to a lot later. Uh, let's say that this one actually wanted to run in uh, Internet Explorer. Well, it actually says so, but we don't see any happy face because we don't have Java. But that's in the future videos following this one. Now we want to run this one in Internet Explorer. How do we do? Well, you will have to click on the three dots here 
go to um, settings. I wanted to settings. Then I click on the hamburger menu here, the three bars. I like, I like that name, hamburger. And then we go to default browser. Here you see Internet Explorer compatibility. That's called IE mode. And IE stands, of course, for Internet Explorer. So by default, let's change that to allow. So now we allow. However, for this to work, it wanted to restart the browser. Okay, so we restart. And now we have restarted. So if we want to run this uh, site in IE mode, you will see Internet Explorer icon when it does. To run this site in Internet Explorer mode, IE mode, you click on the three dots and reload in Internet Explorer mode. So now it's going to reload this page. And you see here now that we get this Internet Explorer icon. That's how we see that this is in IE mode. And you can do that on any page. So um, that's how you do it manually. You can even, if we go back here to uh, settings, you can even pre-preset uh, a few pages. I'll just show the down sign with that default browser. So here you could have added all those, but it's only for 30 days. So after it's going to disappear and you have to redo this. So that's why we're going to use uh, Intune in order to ensure that uh, these pages always go to this uh, IE mode. So if I go back here, exit IE mode. So this is the normal mode. Let's configure it. So I leave my virtual machine and let's go. And I'm going to put the link in the description. I open a new tab. Let's go to a Microsoft uh, 365 Admin Center. If you don't see everything like I don't do here, just click on show all on the left part. And then here under settings, expand that. Under settings, you have org settings, organization settings. And we're going to tie this to uh, Intune. You might see we are not in the Intune uh, portal. Here we're going to look at something called Microsoft Edge. So here, Microsoft Edge site list. So you see the description here, set web websites to open in Internet Explorer mode. It's exactly what we want. So we click here. So first we have to create a new list. And after we're going to populate that with URLs. So I'm just going to call this one GBN IE mode sites. And I put the description sites that should open in IE mode. For example, Java sites, since those require ActiveX and we can't run that in um, Edge, but we can, we can in IE mode. Okay, so that's just the name. I, uh, GBN IE mode sites. You can call your whatever you want, of course. I click on it and now we're going to populate it. Very important, the site list ID. We're going to need this later. I'm going to copy it already now. You get the three dots if you want and copy. Keep that in memory because we're going to do a configuration profile who call this one. But this one is empty now. So let's add a site. If you already have a site, you can actually upload it here. So first I'm going to add a site. And uh, let's see. I'll take an easy one. I just take uh, bing.com. <laughs> and that's opening Internet Explorer mode. Then you can have compatibility mode. So the latest version is IE 11. But if you want it to be a specific one, 5. Strangely enough, you don't have 6. It's the same as... Uh, Oh, interesting that Internet Explorer 7 is... Oh, no, because it's document mode. Okay, so you can have it in 8 or 7. I'm going to keep it on default mode. I just want it to load. But if you have a page who specifically said, hey, I'm only working for uh, Internet Explorer uh, 10, well, then choose that here. Default mode usually works. Uh, I don't need to check any of these. I just want that if I type in www.bing.com, then it's open in IE mode. 
That's one site. Perfect, it's added. I want to add one more. I'm just going to get the URL for the Java test page that needs to be run in Internet Explorer for ActiveX. So it's this one. And if you have this full URL, you only need the top domain. We go back to settings. And then we add one more site. So I'm going to add this one, Internet Explorer mode. Perfect. And I'm going to add a fake site that doesn't exist. Imagine that I have a very old uh, intranet, not totally uncommon, gbn.brints.cloud. I want this one as well. Well, we don't need any capital. So now I have three sites. That means I want everyone in my organization, if they open Edge and go to one of these three sites, I want it to open in IE mode. I can validate the site list. No errors found. Perfect. So here, now this one is done. If I go back to the Edge list, I need to publish it first also. So I'm checking this one. And it was here you could have imported a list. I thought it was in the step earlier. So you can import a list. But I, if you already have an XML file. But I'm going to publish this one. And you can export it if you wanted to give it to someone else. But I'm going to publish this list. And it gets version 1. You can go through. If I do an update, you can go back to a previous version also. But again, we need this... Um, uh, site ID, very important. I'm going to copy it a second time. And copy. And now we go back to uh, Intune. So here we have created all the URLs, but they are just their list. We are not calling that list. That's what we're going to do now. So to do that, we go devices. And, well, this is for Windows. And we create a configuration profile. So let's create a prof uh, configuration profile. Platform, well, Windows or later. It's going to be uh, settings catalog. We create this one. Now it will want the name. Let's call this one GBN uh, Edge IE Mode uh, Sites. Uh, sites that should open in IE mode when running Edge. Okay, we go next. Now we need to find our settings. That's the hardest part. So add settings. And we can search for it. They're going to be under Edge. Let's search for site list. It's probably going to give us more than one. Let's hit search here. So we get multiple, but it's going to be under Microsoft Edge. And let's see where it is. Here it is. So configure the enterprise mode cloud site. So we want this one. So now it's added here on the left side. And we want one more setting called Internet Explorer Integration. If I could spell that, integration. And that's also here. Yes, we want this setting as well. Okay, we got our settings. So I close this one here now. So configure Internet Explorer integration. Yes, please. So we don't need to uh, enable that. And we, you have this different. We put it in Internet Explorer mode. Then here comes what we had copied, the ID. So here, I'm going to paste control V. So the ID here, it's the ID that we have here. So that's how we connect them. So when we're going to deploy this policy to um, our devices, it's going to say, hey, look for this ID. And the client's going to go to your uh, cloud and say, hey, I want the cyclist for this ID. 
and that means okay here are all the settings so after you have done the configuration profile if you want to change something you don't change the profile you go here to Microsoft 365 65 admin and add or modify URLs as needed for your organization okay so those settings are good let's go next scoop tags we don't use assignment I'm gonna add it to all user and all devices I want everyone to have this and uh, let's create this one so now we have created one more uh, configuration policy that uh, help us to get IE mode this policy will apply so let's go to one of my devices you see this um, is still not in IE mode it haven't taken the setting yet if we wait long enough it will I have a little shortcut if we go edge see if I know this one by heart I think it's compact usually it helps yep it helps compact enterprise yes so here is, if you go, to, I will put this in the description. If you go in edge with edge colon forward slash forward slash compact forward slash enterprise, here's the list. It will, we can force an update. So let's force an update. Probably a bit too, too quick. Let's look uh, edge settings. That's another one. Edge, not settings, sorry, policy. And these are the same as uh, Google Chrome have. Why? Because uh, Edge is built on Chromium browser. So we haven't got the policy yet. If I reload the policy. No. Okay. So let's do a little sync. Okay. Sync is done. Let's see if I, yeah, here you see in uh, Edge policy, we now got the policy value and uh, also Internet Explorer integration level set to one. Perfect. So the question is, if we refresh this one, no, let's do a force update. Now it could work. I was a bit too early. Ah, still no. Okay, I waited a bit. I have also now logged into the browser. Uh, and now I will force an update and see if that works better. Yes, okay. So you could have waited, but uh, I don't like waiting. So now we have version number one and we have our list. That means if I'm now going to Bing, for example, it should open in um, IE mode. And it does. So this is what uh, Bing looks in uh, IE. Uh, and if we go to our Java test page, yes. So now without doing any manual setting, this is automated. We have now enabled IE mode for our sites. Now you know how to enable IE mode. And of course you put the URL where you need a site to be started at Internet Explorer. Uh, this takes some time to sync. I did a bit of shortcut, but after a while it will show up. So like always just have patience. In next video, we will look how to install Oracle Java. So see you there. Thank you very much for following along.